hi my beautiful people welcome back to my channel this is Amaya Sube so if you want to know how to make this beautiful cap Messi Aibe is wearing please stay tuned do not skip any ad do not skip any part of this video I'll see you guys soon Okay guys, we're going to be working with this carry board or it's called cardboard. Length I'm using is 23.5 and the width is 3. So my client's head size is 23 inches and I added extra 5, 0.5 inches for allowance. Now what we're going to be doing next is to bring our shoke and then we are going to be cutting out 25 inches of the shoke. That is 23 inches of our head measurement plus extra two allowances so that's how we're going to be cutting it off and we're not going to stop there i will tell us the next step we're going to follow now for the width of our shoe key we are going to be measuring out about five inches for the width that is to say having an extra about an inch on the top and on the bottom side of the length of our our cardboard so we're going to have five inches of the width of our shoe king. So I'm marking it out now. And the next thing I'm going to do is to gently cut it off. After cutting it off, I'm going to be placing my cardboard on top of the ashoki just to place it the way I would want it to be when I'm done working on it. So this is okay, this is perfect. The next thing, I had to cut out the same measurement of the ashoki, 25 inches in length and 5 inches in width. Just the same thing I cut out with the ashoki, so my, my lining will still be the same thing with that. And then after that, I went on ahead to join it with my sewing machine and this is the look you get after joining it up next what we are going to have now is to measure out about 2.5 inches out of the lining now after measuring it out you're going to gently cut off that excess just cut off the excess lining so you're going to be doing this on the lining not on the ashoke on the lining so right now i'm gently cutting off the excess from the 2.5 that i measured out just follow me you will understand i will explain it how we are doing this Next, we are going to be folding about 0.5 inches, fold it down and then you use your sewing machine to run the stitch all down. Now this is what it looks like after running my stitch. The next thing I'm going to do is to fold it. Now I'm going to be folding just the way you're seeing. I'm folding it and I've already marked out my 23 inches where it stopped that's about removing like about one inch after folding it now i'm going to run my stitch with my sewing machine this is what it looks like after running it with my sewing machine the next thing i'm going to do is to open it up a little bit and then i'm going to give it a good press make sure you iron it and make it flat can you see that this is the outcome of mine now the next phase is remember our cardboard that we cut out now we are going to be gluing down and marking out you know that's 0.5 out of the 23 inches of the head measurement now i'm going to use my hot glue apply a little bit of hot glue and then i'm going to glue it down now to go ahead and ensure that the head circumference is still 23 inches i went on ahead to measure it if you measure yours and yours is not up to the head circumference try and repeat it again up next we are going to be flipping or rather turning our shoke inside out remember our shoke with the lining and after you're done doing that you're going to be putting your cardboard inside the ashoke and the lining that has been joined together now there's something i'm doing here you see that area where i joined my ashoke and the area where i joined my cardboard i'm trying to make sure that both of them are on the same line so you just try your best because you don't want to have bogginess in areas that you don't want to see you understand better when we are done with this cap 
now guys you've gotten to this point of this video and you have not yet joined the family you haven't clicked on that subscribe button what are you waiting for oh yeah go and tap on the subscribe button join the family and everything that has to do with headgear ashoke fascinator you get it on this channel oh yeah tap on the subscribe button good thank you now so guys after fixing the cardboard inside you will notice that you have that your extra one inch coming out on both side side the next thing you're going to do is with your hot glue apply a little bit of your glue whatever glue that works for you just go ahead and use it apply the glue and then you begin to gently fold and try your best to make it neat because this is the area that will be sitting on your client's head Okay, so now we are done gluing it all around and then we are going to be moving over to the other side of it the top and we'll repeat the same thing apply your glue and gently glue it down i mean the ashoki area you notice that it's the ashoki area you're gluing not the lining part now i know that some people use um shoemaker glue for this but anything that works best for you again i will say it any any kind of glue you feel that works best for you and that will do the job perfectly for you go ahead and use it my dear now once you're done with the other side of it you'll notice that the lining area is still hanging in there so you're going to gently apply your glue and then glue it so this is the work after applying it and closing it all up it looks neat and it looks perfect so moving on to the next step this is the outcome So now that we are done with the base of the cap, we're going to be working on the top. So I have this one inch foam. You can use half inch foam. I think that's even better. This one inch foam, I cut out a little piece of it. And the next thing I'm going to do is to cut out a circle, measuring it with the base that we've already formed. Now, if you notice very well, I'm giving it like one inch room allowance extra. Sorry about that. That's my baby's hand. So I'm giving it one inch extra allowance as i'm cutting it all around so this is the outcome after cutting it the next thing you're going to do is the ashoke that used to cover it so i had to join about 15 inches of two ashoke and then i placed it and i went on ahead to cut out using the foam that i've already used to cut out and remember give another one inch allowance for it After cutting out the ashoke, I repeated the same method to cut out my lining. Extra one inch allowance as you can see. Alright, up next, next thing you're going to do is to glue down the lining on your foam. Just watch, you'll understand it's not so difficult. Once you're done gluing, this is what it should look like. Now, the next step we're going to take is to cover with our shoki. So, you're going to be placing that shoki on top such that if you turn it over, you will see the lining 
and then if you turn the other way you will see the ashu okay now next thing you're going to do is with your needle and thread you're going to be forming or tacking like a gathers all around the circle um cover that we made just watch you understand what i'm talking about so it's more like a gathers you're making all around take your time do it it's simple it's easy Okay, so this is what it looks like once you're done tacking it all around. The essence of this is to give it that curvy shape. So that by the time you're putting it inside the cap, it would lap well and sit properly. So now I'm just trying it out to, you know, see what it will look like by the time I glue it. So this is just a test run. And I think it will sit well. Alright, let's go to the next phase, which is gluing it down now i am using my shoemaker glue i'm going to be applying the shoemaker glue all around the um, the inside of the base and also on the top parts that we made so i'm gently applying the glue on the inside the area where i want it to be sitting now so you, you don't get confused about the area where you should be gluing you know that area where you applied your lining and glued it down to the cap that's where you'll be applying your glue and then after doing that you'll also be gluing the top parts that you'll be using to cover the cap so gently apply the glue on the tip of this area now once you're doing done applying the glue leave it out leave it to sit out in the air and air dry for about five minutes and once it was done i started putting it from the underneath part of it to the top part where i want to glue it so gently put it there give it a very good press hold hold take your time allow it to dry So guys we are almost done with this cap now allow it dry after drying this is the outcome of my cap this is what it looks like now the next thing we are going to be doing is to decorate it with our flowers our feathers so i have this feather and i'm cutting it off just to make sure that i spread it all around to the shape and the areas that i want it to be that's the reason why i'm cutting it off so I feel this is a perfect place to place it. And now the area where you'll be, you know, stitching your flower should be that area. You remember that area that has joining, where you join the ashoke? Yes, that's the area you're going to be placing it so that you will cover up the line. You don't want to be seeing that line. You want it in such a way that when you look at the cap all around, there won't be any joining that you're seeing. So this is me adding the feathers the way I want it to be. So now at this point i felt that gluing down the feathers would be much faster and better so i had to glue it down with my hot glue and the next step was to decorate it with some you know applique and petals and flower whatever you have that works fine just put it in there and the head cap is fine and it's ready to be worn by my clients so if you like what you're seeing don't forget to give this video a thumbs up you know share my video and you know stay tuned for the next one so enjoy yourself i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye